Welcome to calculating MIRR on TIBA2+. In this video, we'll see how to calculate MIRR for conventional cash flows as well as for non-conventional cash flows. We'll do this on TIBA2 Plus Professional, which is a very nice built-in feature to calculate MIRR, and on TIBA2 Plus Student Edition. So here we have a set of cash flows. As we can see that the initial cash flow, which is the outflow at t equals zero, is seven thousand dollars, and then we have three inflows, which are positive cash flows of two thousand, three thousand, and thirty-five ninety-seven. This is a conventional set of cash flows because there is only one sign change from the initial cash flow of 7,000 to subsequent cash flows. Let's see how to calculate MIRR for this set of cash flows on the professional addition of the calculator. Our first step is to clear the cash flow worksheet. Next, we are going to enter the negative $7,000 cash flow. We'll now enter the $2,000 cash flow. It takes place only once, so the frequency is one. We enter the $3,000 cash flow now. Again, it takes place only once. Finally, we enter the $3,597, taking place only once. We then press the IRR key, and we get the IRR as 10%. Press the down arrow key. The reinvestment rate is 12%. And we calculate the MIRR to be 10.58%. To calculate MIRR on the student edition of the calculator, we need to find the future value of all the inflows or the positive cash flows. So here we are going to find the future value of 2000 we're then going to find the future value of 3000 and of course the future value of 3597 at t equals 3 is 3597 and we are going to add all the future values so here we have the three future values and we add them all up and they come out to 960 9465.80 the next step is to set up our calculator such that n equals 3 because we have three time periods. Present value is the initial cash flow of 7,000, which is the outflow, and the future value is going to be the sum of all the future values that we calculated, 9465.80. Let's see how to do this on the calculator now. We first clear the time value of money worksheet. We now enter n equals 3. We set present value equals negative 7000. We set future value equals $9,465.80. And we calculate I slash Y or the MIRR. 
Next, we have non-conventional set of cash flows. Here we can see that the initial cash flow is negative 1,000, which is an outflow. The cash flow at t equals 1 is positive 6,300. So we have one sign change from negative 1,000 to positive 6,300. The cash flow at t equals 2 is negative 6,120. So we have a second sign change from 6,300 positive to negative 6,120. So there are two sign changes and this is a non-conventional cash flows. As you already probably know, there, there is a possibility that there are two IRRs in this type of scenario when there are two sign changes. We are first going to clear the cash flow worksheet. We're going to enter negative 1000 as our initial cash flow. followed by $6,300 as our first cash flow. And negative 6,120 as our cash flow at t equals two. We are going to calculate. Watch what happens. This is you have to be very careful with non-conventional cash flow. When you calculate IRR, we get IRR. But watch what happens when you calculate MIRR. We get a very strange number. This is a caveat with non-conventional cash flows. So what we really have to do is set I equals 12 in the TVM screen and then come back and find the modified internal rate of return. In order to find the MIRR, on the student addition of the calculator, we need to find the present value of all the outflows. So we are going to find the present value of 6120. Again, we are going to assume that the investment rate is 12% and the present value turns out to be 4878.83. And of course, this is negative because this is an outflow. and we to that we add negative 1000 and we come up with 5878.83 the next step is to find the future value of the inflows there is only one inflow of $6300 the future value at 12% is 7056 now we're going to set up our calculator uh, such that n equals 2 the present value is the present value of all the outflows and the future value is the future value of all the inflows. Let's follow the steps on the calculator now. We are first going to clear the TVM worksheet. We're going to set n equals 2. Present value equals negative 5,000. 878.83 future value equals 7056 and we'll calculate i slash y or the MIRR 9.56 thanks for watching this video I hope you found it helpful